So uh, obviously my hope is we can get more uh, electric to really give a completely silent ride to the kids. Yep, the electric is, is coming on strong. The battery technology is changing annually to give us more range, faster charge times to make the, the electric bus even more viable. I, 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 you're, here, here. So you got some yeah, sign. I can't see my face. Yep. Okay. Hi, I'm Steve Johnson, the Southeastern Sales and Service Rep for Thomas Built Buses. All right, and let's go on in to Thomas Bus and uh, see how they do the electric buses. We're going out Holy the cow, this is it. Wow. Incredible. You can see all the different school buses yeah. down the line. Uh, we, we call them snowflakes because no two are alike. Different paint schemes for different counties, window configurations, strobe lights, signs, infinitely adjustable. Roughly 30,000 options to choose from to build a school bus. So there we go, there's the chassis. So it's a Freightliner chassis coming to Thomas and then for the electric buses, Proterra batteries will be dropped in. So many South Carolina and North Carolina companies, I love it. So I can see what looks like the skeleton or the outline of a bus starting to come together up there, but it's like skinny. I can't tell how strong those things are. So on the roll cage and on the sides of the bus, we're gonna bond those roof panels and those side panels to those roof bows. So we're gonna have 100% contact on both sides of the roof bow, which is much, much stronger than just having an individual screw or ribbon attaching that roof panel. Basically, your current aircraft style construction is being utilized to make this bus as light and as strong as safe as possible. So our buses are you know, right, right from the factory. We'll pass all the, the Kentucky pole tests, the Colorado racking tests, and any other safety standard right out of the ground without any up, upfit options or extra cost of Huh. So you said that's a corrosion proof galvanized steel. Yes, so it's, it's called galvalum, so it's a hybrid alloy that's got a coating on it. And it is nine times more corrosion resistant than just standard galvanized steel. Wow. So we're going to put this into a hydraulic machine that's going to try to pull these two apart and fail these welds. And then what? how much over the minimum do you fail? Do you know? So we need to be about 16,000 pounds to meet our FMVSS standard of the material. Yeah. Uh, we're usually in the mid 20s. There we go. So the material is failing before the weld, which is what we want to see. So. Oh, that means there's no way you can need a better weld. Exactly. The weld's not even the, so, the weak point yeah, anymore. The weld is not the weak point. So that's what we want to achieve is make sure our welds are stronger than the actual material that they're attaching. Yep. Okay. Now, what about these uh, kind of round things here? So basically, it's like a stringer, but this is one of the main structural components of the roll cage. So this will get bonded and riveted to the inside of the bus and runs from front to back. So here we have all of our windows that are going to get bonded into the buses. Again, there's an example of the different signs. We have illuminated signs, non-illuminated signs. We Some customers use decals. And of course, the infamous stop signs. <laughs> there they are. These are the signs. If you run past them, you're in big trouble. It's my wife found out one day. <laughs> okay, so coming upstairs here to the paint booth, and it looks like there is a bus. Of, whoa! Look at that. This is a little bit surreal. Seconds later, we got a yellow bus. Per bus. 
We're either going to recycle all of the materials that are not utilized on the bus, or we're going to turn that into fuel, and we're going to turn that into energy to produce electricity. When you say that there is this much going into the landfill per bus, that's a mic drop moment Absolutely. in my mind. And, that, and that's a mantra with Daimler worldwide. So these are the last finished stages where we're going to put in either an air door or an electric door. We also have auto reversing doors, which are on your four buses. Oh. So should a student get a backpack or a part of the jacket or anything caught in the door, it's a load sensitive door, so it's going to auto reverse so that Open up. going to get hung up. Yep. So now we've got completed buses. Let's take a look. We're at the end of the line. All right. So this is it. This is one of them. This is one of your four buses. This is one of my four buses. C2, Julie, for South Carolina. Going this to South Carolina. I cannot wait to drive this thing. I don't have to tell you, I cannot wait to drive this thing. Oh my gosh. Ah, come on in. Let's see. I'm sitting here thinking of all the kids that are gonna get to ride these in silence, safety, cleanliness, it's, uh, wow. And it wasn't that long ago we had the concept of doing this, was it? What was it? Eight months? Eight months ago we had the concept. And now we're sitting in the bus. And almost everything came from South Carolina or North Carolina. It did. It's a Thomas. Thomas is a North Carolina company. Proterra. And the, the chassis, the, who does the chassis come from again? Freightliner Custom Chassis. From Freightliner in uh, South Carolina. And so here, here we go, between South Carolina and North Carolina in eight months. We've got buses that don't burn fuel. That's amazing. Mm. All right, let's take this thing for a drive. I gotta drive it. All right, let's do it. So to turn off the IntelliPark, put your foot on the brake. It is. And then push that lever forward. Which the, lever? This this one right here. So okay, push, push it. Push it forward down. There you go. Like Lights that? are off, yep. You're good to okay. go, just one push. Push it in L. Okay. So apply go ahead. Power. And, yep, so apply power, we're good to go. Yeah. So it's, I got you in the mirror. It's it's every bit as good as I would have hoped. So now just go ahead and accelerate and let it shift into second. Just stay in the power and then you'll feel okay. it, you know, come back on again. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> there we go. All right. Woo! All right, I wasn't expecting to be drag racing the school bus today. Oh, there we go. I can feel the shift. We're in the second. Okay, the seat's starting to buzz. He knows I'm getting a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, because you're, you're doing lane departure. Oh, I was all coming out of my lane. Yep, so the, the wow. mobile, that mobile I was detecting, you were going over the, the yellow line and, and letting you know. I'll be darned. All right, I got to do that one more time. All right. <sighs> what do you think? Love it. Absolutely love it. It's... uh. As good as you'd hope? Yeah. Well, better. Better than I'd hope. I didn't think you would have this kind of acceleration. I didn't think I'd have this kind of situational awareness. I didn't think I'd have cameras in the, in the rear view mirror showing you what's going on. I didn't think I'd have that kind of sound at low speed to, to keep kids away from it at, you know, at five or ten miles an hour. I didn't know I'd have a door that couldn't catch a kid in it. I didn't know the seat would ride so smoothly no matter what happens in the air. I didn't know the chassis was custom designed for the frame. I didn't know any of this stuff. So it's it's all it's all beyond beyond what I go for. And the kids are gonna see that, right? And that's what matters. When the kids ride this thing, they're gonna tell their parents. No kid's gonna ride this and not tell their parents about it. Kids ride clean. Yeah, they're gonna ride clean. Okay, here we go. Let her rip. Time for plaid mode. <laughs> Alright. Couldn't push back in the seat. I do not see that in the school bus too often. Okay, I'm gonna try and stay in my lane to avoid the haptic warning. And then you can All just right. let off and feel the decel. Yeah, we're going fast. We're going real fast. All right, getting off. Okay, I'm gonna come out of the lane to stay straight here because I'm not gonna try and turn or brake at the same time in a brand new bus yet. So, okay, that is great. That is awesome. That speed is kind of exhilarating, I gotta say. It's a little, a little exhilarating. It just keeps accelerating. Woo. All right, should I take it back to parking, or do you want to take it back I'll, to I'll take it back. Okay, yeah, whenever I let people test drive the car, I always uh, 
I always take control for the parking cord. Of it. Exactly. Okay. So, so no. we're stopping. I put my foot on the brake. So pull this. Yep. And then it'll put it in neutral for you, and you're done. Neutral, I'm done. All right. I think that might be where we end the video, more or less. But oh my gosh. The, the bottom line is that Kids Ride Cleanest is an experiment. It's an experiment to see whether electric school buses can work. And uh, I think this experiment is succeeding. I think it's going to succeed.